Um, if someone has actually never seen anything that you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Well, if you want to be just entertained, uh, I, I'm very proud of the first Tekken movie. I thought the three I did were, were good, but the first one I, I particularly liked. If you want to be just entertained, historically, uh, I would go for Michael Collins, who was a Irish revolutionary leader, one of the co-founders of the modern Irish Republic. Schindler's List, of course, which was a quite phenomenal film that Steven Spielberg made. And I was honored to be a part of that. Um, but I've uh, just before Christmas, I finished my 100th film. I, I got a chance to play Raymond Chandler's classic uh, P.I. Philip Marlowe. Again, with Neil Jordan, who directed, uh, wrote and directed uh, Michael Collins. So I hope, I hope there's a flavor in there of different things throughout these hundred films, which include documentaries, by the way, that I narrated, uh, which I, I still love doing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's entertainment, isn't it? I love going into a cinema from when I was a child, seeing matinee movies, Audie Murphy Westerns, for example. With my hero as a kid. Uh, I, I can't wait for us all to get back into theaters again, cinemas. I completely agree. And by the way, I am incredibly excited that you paired up again with Neil Jordan, mostly because <clears throat> uh, I know William Monaghan wrote the script, mm -hmm. and I'm a big fan of William Monaghan's writing. Wonderful writer. Absolutely. I should have mentioned that. Yes, you're right. Bells. Oh, getting into Blacklight. Um, I, I know you're offered a lot of scripts. What was it about this one that said, I want to play this character? Um, it was a chance to work with Mark Williams again. Uh, he, was, he was one of the co-writers cool and directed it. Uh, we'd done three films together. Uh, it was a chance to work with my old pal, Aidan Quinn, who plays my FBI boss. And I liked the script because it had you know, yes, there's thrills and spills and there's action and stuff in it, but it, but it, it hints at uncheckered uh, power in government. Uh, it, it investigates that in, in a very interesting way, I think, uh, that we can apply to our own lives nowadays. Um, and so it, so, it, so it gave certain levels to, to the story that uh, makes certainly my character question his existence, his working existence over the past 20 years, you know. Um, so it's always interesting to, to, or I try and put in a couple of extra layers of something in these characters, you know, uh, that hopefully comes across as a, you know, uh, that there's some kind of sensitivity there, you know mixed with being able to bash somebody's brains out, you know. <laughs> but this is why I like watching you work and why you have so many fans. It's because you do do that. Um, I am curious, though, you've done, you've worked on, as you said, like a hundred films. And I would imagine that when you're working with a director for the first time, especially a younger director, have you noticed that they're a little bit nervous to actually give you direction? Can you sort of talk about those first few days on set where you're like feeling each other out? Um, if it is a young director and he's fairly new or she's fairly new, I wish there were more she's actually, uh, but I just try to be, I try to be as prepared as possible and also to be incredibly relaxed and, and not have an attitude, you know, I, I can't stand that actors, actors sometimes have attitudes, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, don't come near me. I'm in character. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of that. I, I just try and be um, sociable. Uh, but when that camera turns, you know we have a job to do, and I like to execute that as best as I possibly can. And if I can help the director in any way, I'll maybe offer a couple of suggestions. But but there. The, the young directors I've worked with over the years, they, they, they're very, very good. 
this this new breed of directors are coming up and they they're uh, they're excellent they really are so I, I always learn a lot from them you know on that note i need to stop i'm just going to say thank you for talking with me i'm really looking forward to talking to you about marlowe thank you me too yeah bill oh. goldman is a great writer oh i um i i'm a huge fan thank you so much